So just to quickly preview the variables that we're going to use in this course, in experimental research, I talked about independent variables. So for example, in the polio vaccine trials, the independent variable was the treatment, whether the child received the vaccine or the placebo. That's a nominal variable. They either got vaccine or placebo. Um, like the memory training experiment. They either got training or they didn't get training. That's just a nominal variable. Subjects are randomly assigned to one of those two conditions. Uh, the quasi-independent variables are also an example. Um, so the sports-related concussion. There was concussion, no concussion. Those are just nominal groups. Um, another good or popular quasi-independent variable is genders, female, male. Um, we'll typically use inter interval and ratio variables as our dependent variables or as our measured variables in correlational research. So, for example, the rate of polio in a community, like how many kids out of a thousand uh, acqu acquired polio after the, the vaccine, uh, that was our dependent variable. Um, or we could look at score on an intelligence test or score on a personality survey. Those are in the interval ratio uh, type. And finally, it's important to keep track of whether your variables are discrete or continuous. So what I mean by discrete variables are, examples are like the nominal variables. There's discrete categories, separate categories. Whereas continuous variables are like the interval and the ratio type, where there's just a continuum. So we have this scale on, an, say, like an intelligence test, and it's just a continuum. Um, Ordinal variables are a little tricky. They're technically categories, right? If, if I only have, say, first, second, and third, gold, silver, bronze, um, those are like categories, but they're ordered. Um, and in some cases, we might want to take averages of ordinal variables, and then they look more like interval or ratio. So we'll talk more about that later as we get into some actual analyses. So to sum up this segment, the main point is that there are different types of variables that we're going to use throughout the course and that statisticians use to do their research. And it's really important at the outset that you always know what type of variable you're dealing with because you can only apply certain statistical procedures to uh, variables of certain types. So just remember that there are four different types, nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio. And know that as you go from nominal to ratio, you're allowed to ask more and more interesting questions of your data.